Um, you know, All right, let, let's it. talk about something serious to start. And uh, Tyler, I really want to get your take on this. I don't know how much you followed this New Mexico State hazing incident. Um, but I was dealing with it last night. And, and basically what it is, is three players at New Mexico State, the same program that earlier this season had a player shoot, uh, basically get into a gunfight and, and uh, shoot and kill a student at New Mexico as retribution for a fight at a football game. I don't know how clear I made that, but uh, it, it was a shit show, so it's hard to make it clear. Uh, anyway, same program. Coach doesn't get fired, nothing, whatever. And all of a sudden, um, and this has been going on. Basically, I was told today, since a week or two after the the, the shooting, uh, three players have been hazing another player. And by hazing, I don't want to go into too many specifics, but what I will say is my sources have told me it's basically forcing him to take off his clothes in the locker room and doing certain things to him that, again, I won't go into the specifics, but shit that just shouldn't go on in a locker room. And they're doing an investigation now, and they basically temporarily shut down the program, and, and they may not play again this season. Have you ever heard anything like this, Tyler, before? Like, obviously, you, you've been – in NBA locker rooms, hearing stories for years, you hear you hear stories about how much money guys got to go certain places. I know that that's always a yeah. topic, right? Things like that. Have you ever heard of of, of this? <clears throat> no, um, this is a really sad situation, uh, and not only this, this shouldn't happen anywhere. Not just a lot. I mean, this is just a bad situation. I think the university did a good job. I mean at just uh, canceling everything and trying to get a hold of it. But this sounds much bigger uh, than any NCAA violations. And it's, uh, you know, I don't I don't really know where to go besides, you know, you, there could be some criminal charges and, you know, rightfully yeah, the, so, and some jobs, you know, people are going to be fired for sure. Kevin, what do you think when you heard all this? I mean, I was, I was shocked. Um, it's just, it, the, the culture around New Mexico state right now feels broken. Right. And look, this is a place and this, this is a place that has taken some chances on kids over the years without question. A renegade and, program, I would say. Yes. A hundred percent. And I think certain coaches, and I think Chris Jans is probably a good example of this have done a good job of getting guys kind of in line or out, out of the program, right? Like you're, you're, you're bought in and you're doing things my way or you're gone. And I think, you know, New Mexico state wanted to find another guy who could replicate that model. And I, I, I think when you have this number of severe incidents like this in a short amount of time inside a team, I think it reflects very poorly on, on the head coach and Greg hire. And I think it reflects very poorly on the decision to hire Greg hire. He should be fired immediately. 100%. Like he should be fired. He should have been fired months ago. When he basically lied to the police, like, what are we doing? Should have never been hired in the first place. I mean, the last, listen, want me to give you something? I'll give you a great story. I did the Greg Marshall story. Okay. Uh, called, I don't know, 50 people, Greg Marshall, Tyler. I don't know if you remember this at all. I wrote the story about three years ago and, uh, talked to about 50 people. Basically he had, among other things, he had punched a player in practice, punched a player named Shaq Morris. Greg Heyer was on staff. He was on staff. Greg Heyer was one of the people I called. You know what Greg Heyer didn't do? He was there. Players told me he saw the punch. He was right there. Greg Heyer wouldn't do, wouldn't admit it. Wouldn't admit it. Three years ago. So it's bad enough that he was there at the time and didn't do anything as a grown man. Mm -hmm. But even worse, when I called him and said, hey, man, you know what? Even off the record. Tell me, just tell me, am I right or wrong here? Nothing. Come on, man. Come on. And he had he had the audacity after the shooting incident with Mike Peak to sit and, and I've seen the video that it's public video from from the police 
the police are asking him questions about his player. And he says, well, I don't know him that well. I've only coached him for six months. <laughs> are you kidding me? Right, right. I don't know what he does. I don't know. I don't know what he's like. I couldn't right. tell you much. I, I just got started with this job in May. What and do I don't know if he about? knew. So I've heard conflicting. I've, I've talked to a few people that were involved in this and gotten conflicting, not conflicting, but one says they think the staff, some staff members knew what was going on. And another said he, he doesn't know if, if that's the case or not, that the player never told the coaches. Obviously, I think if the player had told the coaches, something would have had to have happened. You, you would, would hope. hope. You would hope, but who knows? Who knows? So anyway, that's where we stand right now with the mm -hmm. New Mexico hazing incident, which is utterly disgusting. Um, and, and again, I feel for the player. And I hope the three players – Never, ever. I mean, I would assume they never play. The investigation is going to come out. I know who the three players are. I'm not putting their name out yet until the investigation is over and they can put it out. But it's just, yeah, yeah, disgusting.